Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Sano and Cody again, and today for Reader's Workshop, we're going to talk to you about making more connections. But first, let me read you another story. The Gingerbread Cowboy, written by Janet Squires, illustrated by Holly Berry. The Gingerbread Cowboy Once upon a time, in the wild, wild west, there lived a rancher and his wife. Every morning, just as the sun was coming up, the rancher saddled his horses and fed the cattle while his wife baked biscuits. Biscuits with butter, biscuits with honey, biscuits with jelly. Yes, those breakfast biscuits were plump as pillows, soft as clouds, and as tasty as a big Texas barbecue. Then one day, just as the sun was coming up, the rancher's wife decided she was tired of making biscuits. So she measured and mixed, and she made gingerbread dough. She rolled that dough flat and cut out the shape of a boy. But not just any boy. He had boots on his feet. He had a hat on his head. And he had a big belt buckle made of spun sugar. He was a gingerbread cowboy. She took raisins, candies, and nuts and gave him two bright eyes, a laughing mouth, and a cowboy vest with fringe, and she put him in the oven to bake. I sure am hungry for biscuits, said the rancher, leaning over and sniffing the rodeo rompin' good smell coming out of the oven. He opened the door for a peek, and quick as the flick of a pony's tail, out jumped the gingerbread cowboy, and he ran out the door as fast as his boots would carry him. Woo! shouted the rancher. Come back, shouted his wife. But the gingerbread cowboy just laughed and said, Giddy up, giddy up, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. He jumped over a horned lizard, gobbling up ants, and raced away as fast as his boots would carry him until he came to a roadrunner. I was just about to have lizard for breakfast, said the roadrunner, but I think I'll eat you instead. The gingerbread cowboy just laughed and said, Giddy up, giddy up, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. He wriggled through the corral fence and raced away as fast as his boots would carry him. Until he came to a band of javelinas, munching on cactus pads. Gingerbread! shouted the javelinas. Yee-haw! The gingerbread cowboy just laughed and said, Giddy up, giddy up, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. He galloped past a big prickly cactus and raced away as fast as his boots would carry him. Until he came to a herd of longhorn cattle grazing in the field. Mmm, no more grass for us, they cried. We want gingerbread. But the gingerbread cowboy just laughed and said, Giddy up, giddy up, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. He ducked between their legs and raced away as fast as his boots would carry him. Until he met some hungry cowboys riding in the range. The cowboys yelled, Stampede! They wanted gingerbread, too. The gingerbread cowboy just laughed and said, Giddy up, giddy up, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. He turned down the canyon and raced away as fast as his boots would carry him. Until he met a coyote napping in the sun. Now, the gingerbread cowboy was feeling mighty pleased with himself. I've run away from the rancher and his wife, the roadrunner, the javelinas, the longhorn cattle, and the cowboys, he bragged. And I can run away from you, too. The coyote smiled. I don't want to chase you, he said. But I can hear those folks coming fast. And there's a river just ahead. Hop onto my tail and I'll take you across. Well, I can't let them catch me now, cried the gingerbread cowboy. So he hopped onto the coyote's tail. 
the coyote splashed into the river and began to swim. Oh, it rained last night, and the river is deep. You better get on my back, said the coyote. So the gingerbread cowboy climbed onto the coyote's back. By now, the cowboys, the longhorns, the javelinas, and the roadrunner, the rancher and his wife, had arrived at the edge of the river. The rancher's wife took out her lariat and swung a loop out toward the gingerbread cowboy. Quick, stand on my nose, said the coyote. So the gingerbread cowboy jumped off onto the coyote's nose. Ha, 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 shouted the gingerbread cowboy as the lasso fell short. They missed! But I won't, said the coyote. He tossed the gingerbread cowboy into the air like a flapjack on a griddle and swallowed him in one gulp. And that was the end of the gingerbread cowboy. I hope you enjoyed the story. So today in Reader's Workshop, we're going to continue to talk about making connections while reading a story. There are a lot of ways to make connections while reading a story. Remember last time we talked about making connections from text to self. Today, we will be talking about making connections from text to text. A text to text connection means that while you're reading your story, you're reminded of another character, setting, or event that happened in another book that you've already read. Were you able to make any text to text connections while listening to our story, The Gingerbread Cowboy? Pause the video and talk to an adult about it. Ready? Remember our story, Horses Help? I made a connection between the cowboys in The Gingerbread Cowboy and the cowboys in our story, Horses Help. I'm sure your teacher has read you the story, The Gingerbread Man. This story reminds me a lot of The Gingerbread Cowboy. They both try to run away from everyone and they both get eaten up in the end. Can you think of any other stories that remind you of the gingerbread cowboy? Maybe the gingerbread man loose in the school? Think of some other stories. I'm sure you can. So when you're reading to yourself or with someone else, see if you can make a text-to-text -text connection. Cody and I will see you real soon. Bye.